What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you three free mint NFT projects that I'm keeping my eye on. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do because we're in a bear market and it's very hard to predict their early project. So I'm not even sure how they're going to turn out, but I'm going to keep my eye on hopefully to get a whitelist spot for a quick flip. The problem right now, there are just so many even free mint NFT projects and a lot of them are rug pulls after they mint out. There's actually no volume on OpenSea or on secondary markets and they just don't go anywhere. And actually a lot of times they don't even sell out, even if it's a free mint. And in many cases, since gas is high, not too many people are minting, especially if it's a degen mint. But this three that I'm going to keep my eye on, I think they have this in potential. But again, once they're going to start minting, I'm going to keep my eye on on OpenSea to see if there is a trade value. And if there is, then I'll probably mint and resell. So but before I'm going to show you the projects, I have to state something. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. This video is for educational and entertainment purpose only. Always do your own research before investing any money into NFT projects. So the first project, it's called Doglands 2000 Free Mint Spots. And as you can see, they already have a website. They join in July and they have 18,000 followers on Twitter. They have a premium link and there is a collab manager as well. So if we scroll down, they also have a Discord. And as you can see, they're getting pretty good interaction on their Twitter posts. And if we scroll down even more, you can see they collabing with a different NFT alpha groups and different projects just in general. So if we scroll up and if we open up their website, this page is going to appear. Looks pretty cool. I didn't do a whole lot of research. Looks like they're going to have merch store energy system. I'm not sure what that is. Probably like some kind of their own ecosystem. And then there is a story behind it. They also have Twitter account that I just showed you and Discord. And then if we click on get your VL spot, whitelist spot, it's going to take you to a premium link where you can register and hopefully you can get yourself a whitelist spot like that. So the second project is called Slugger. In their bio, it says you have one job to keep your Slugger alive. I'm not even sure it's some kind of like a character and it's a free mint 2222 supply whitelist only. So if they only going to do whitelist, then most likely they're going to over allocate so they won't have to go to public. I'm not a big fan of this strategy, but if that's what they're doing, if this is the only way, she's going to have to go with it. Then, as you can see, they're getting pretty good interaction on their Twitter post. Like, for example, this one right here was posted a few days ago and looks like it's also for whitelist spot and they got 2400 likes 1600 retweets and 700 comments and if we scroll down similar to other posts as well so this is another project that i'm keeping my eye on and i think it has a decent potential for a quick flip and then the last project it's called forgotten realm free mint it's gonna have 888 genesis nft collection hand drawn no roadmap and artwork is by this author right here and then no promises just vibes and then collab manager is here as well they already have discord and they have at the time of recording this video 10,000 followers on their twitter again i don't really know a whole lot about this project but i know they're getting decent interaction on their twitter post like this one for giveaway it was posted a little over a month ago it has 2200 likes 2200 retweets and if we scroll down even more as you can see they're giving away whitelist spot on their Twitter account. So you can enter like that, or maybe you can enter their Discord and see maybe they'll have like some kind of games or other giveaways for whitelist spot for the specific project, or maybe in alpha groups. Like for example, there is one right here, Freeman Pass, they given away. So most likely Forgotten Realm allocated whitelist spot for this specific alpha group. So this is just another way how to get a whitelist spot for different NFT projects. And I think this project has decent potential because it has a low supply, less than a thousand. With that being said, this is the third one that I'm gonna keep my eye on and hopefully I can get myself a whitelist spot for this project. And this is pretty much it. All the projects that I talk about, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. And if this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.